Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and happy 2023. This is my first painting video of the year. Ever since the weather turned cold, I have started knitting and crocheting feverishly. Uh, I don't know what that means as far as the Farmer's Almanac. Maybe it's going to be a very cold winter, but it hasn't been cold so far. But these colors seem to be repeating in what I'm working with, and they were the colors that inspired this painting. And I'm going to show you how I created this painting. This painting is on a 20 inch square gallery wrapped canvas and I'm going to do a split base coat. I'm using a really rich red and gold as my split base, torching for bubbles. All my paints are mixed with just Floetrol and a bit of water to a nice uh, consistency where the it falls from the stick onto the paint, rests a second, and then disappears. It needs to be juicy enough to move and for the reaction to happen. And I'm just simply going to lay down uh, some color and you'll see I put a different shade of gold on the red side. I'm using some black, I'm using copper, and I'm using silver. The first technique that I'm going to use on this painting is my pushing paint around using uh, a spatula and I couldn't find my rubber spatula so I had to use a metal one. It still worked well to distribute the paint for the first part of this process. Just going to tilt and stretch the paint out a little bit. It also gives me an idea of where the majority of the paint is. When you watch it move, you can see if you've got too much and how you're going to deal with that as you progress.
And now I'm going to do some great big schmears. You can see I have an offset spatula and on it I have put some of the Amsterdam formula which in this case is the Amsterdam black oxide mixed one part paint to four parts American Floetrol no water. You also want to be sure to have a very thin layer on the back of the spatula. If it's on too thickly you won't get the cells and the lacing that you're looking for. And you just you glide it across the surface of the paints and then watch the magic happen. It's really very, very effective. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna do a couple of smears, moving some paint around and playing with the composition. you notice I torch frequently. I don't want the bubbles in the painting. I also check my sides, make sure they've got some coverage on them. And I also check around the bottom of the frame that the canvas is in and make sure that there's not a lot of paint that is dripping uh, down and pulling the paint off of the canvas. Oh, all the pretty little bits. This is the wet results. And right after this, I'm gonna show you how beautifully it dried, very little change. Uh, colors are vibrant. Uh, all metallics except for the red and the black. But uh, just really turned out beautifully. Uh, makes you happy. Uh, first one of the year was so uh, came together really nicely for me. Anyway, I want to thank you again for checking in to see if I'm still around and thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to go back to our regular Tuesdays and uh, keep watching for my knitting projects. I just can't seem to stop. And it, you know, it's all art. You're playing with fibers. It's just the medium is different. You're playing with color and texture and movement and dimension and it's it's the same whether you're using yarn or paint or a camera uh, whatever medium it is it's still art and it's still being creative and i think that's what i crave and i spend a great deal of time doing it but again thank you so much for coming along let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things i really do appreciate you uh, watching right, take care of yourself and we'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks again. Bye.